Hi, my name is Alex Pluto and this is Package Main. I'm a very big fan of distributing Golang programs via only one executable file. But what if you are building a web application which requires some HTML templates saved in HTML files? In this case, you need to deploy those templates as well. Okay, it turns out that Gobin Data command line tool can help you to solve this and ship your program via still one executable file. So let's see how it works with Gobin Data. Let's create some tiny program to print HTML template. First of all, let's create our template. In TPL folder, we will create a page.html file and uh, we will make a very simple uh, base HTML template. We will just add, I forgot, something like doc type HTML. and body and we just print hello all right the simplest html template now let's create a go program which will which will print this template to std out we will do it in main.go file it will be package main with main function we can use a package from go std lib called HTML template. To work with this, we can just call parse files function and here we should provide the path to our template. It will be template and error. And let's check this error. And uh, okay, let's just but I'll enable to parse template file and error. And now we just execute this template and uh, put the output to std out. And we'll use t dot let me save so we have this template execute template. The first will be os std out and then the name of template is base and then data is is new and also let's check error here unable to execute template let's try to run it we will just build it and let's run our application. All right, template is printed. Now, to deploy this application, this app, we also need to deploy a TPL folder with our template because it will not work without real file because parse files function requires to have uh, templates on the file system. So now it's time to use a Gobin Data command line tool. Let's install Gobin Data command line tool. And now let's generate a Go source code from, from template files. To use this, we can call Gobin Data and we define an output. Let's go. Will be tpl.go file. And then we will process the whole TPL folder. As you can see, tpl.go file now is created. What it has inside? Inside it has gzip, it has a binary representation of our template, and it has some helper functions. Especially we will use the asset function. Now we cannot use parse files function because it requires the template be on file system. So let's use a parse function and also let's use asset function from tpl.go. So we do it like this. We call asset function. And here, what's interesting, we provide the path to, the, to our file. So it would tpl slash page 
dot html and let's check this error there is not nil unable to get tpl data to get asset and error and now let's change this to template dot new it will be base and we call just parse and here we provide the content of our template should be like this type string so we need to use a string and the rest will be almost the same except this part because we already defined that it will be base so we can just use the function execute all right let's build our application and run it again yeah template is still printing now we actually don't use a file from the file system but we're using the file from tpl.go i mean the data from tpl.go to verify it let's just remove the tpl folder with the file and simply run the program again everything still works so what we did to deploy this small application now we don't need to deploy any template files we can still deploy one binary file also what i think that gobin data can a little bit increase the time of rendering because we don't need to open files from the file system it may be faster maybe not also what we need to do now if you have an application and you use template parse files function now you cannot use it anymore because it requires the files to be on the file system so you can use a parse function i hope it was interesting and you enjoyed it if you have any topics you want to see in the future episodes please send me especially i'm interested in code reviews if you have any interesting package or you just wrote a package you want to have a review please send me and see you later